Oh, Lindo. The director said that if I saw you, I should tell you he wishes to meet. With you. Awesome. Sounds like you didn't see me then. Oh ho! Hey there, Rook. The name's Lindo Amamia. According to various documents, I am your superior officer. But I never paid much attention to that crap, and neither should you. Endgame, I want you to be someone who I know has my back. And I'll have yours. Oh, who's this? A new recruit? Yup, and you're totally ruining my big scary speech about our brutal coda, so shoot! Of course, sir. You're the boss, sir. Now I lost my place, so we're cool, yeah? I'm sending you out into battle, and I know that's scary, but look, I'm gonna be right here with you, got it? Oh, and look at the time, it's half past mission. Let's go! This place has seen better days for sure. All right, Rook, we're gonna get some hands-on experience today. You got three big rules. Don't die. If you're in danger, frickin' run. And last, hide. Well, not hide, use cover. Stealth wins fights. Wait, is that four big rules then? I'm gonna bottom line it for you. Survive. Actually, yeah, let's say one big rule. Survive. All right, kid, let's get this show on the road. Fighting little ogre tails today. Should be a pretty basic hunt. Nothing crazy or unexpected. I know it's your first time in the field. Well performed, God Eaters. I don't just hand out compliments. So when I say you moved well out there for a recruit, I mean it. you are. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so what do you say we just jump right in? Now, what do you think an aragami is? Lots of words come to mind. The apex predator, the devourer of mankind, God's given flesh. Well, those are all right, in a way. These phrases, while dramatic, aren't misconceptions. Rather, you could say they simply evolve from wonderment. The speaker clearly has their eyes fixed on the phenomena before them. Today, we are striving for a deeper answer. Tell me, have you ever wondered from whence the aragami come? History books tell us that they just appeared, as though from the air itself. Since then, their numbers have grown. Strange, no? As though they are ripping through the very core of evolutionary process. <sighs> Hey, does this lecture have an intermission? Or a point? 
Our job's to kill them. What does it matter where they come from? Oh, it matters. Whoa! Aragami have no heart. Neither do they have a brain or a digestive system or spinal fluids. Frail humans that we are, a powerful strike to the chest would cripple or kill us. But no, that won't bring down an aragami. You see, these beasts are clusters of oracle cells, each individually a single-cell organism of its own, ever devouring the others. Mad? Ha! Perhaps. But each aragami is a colony of hundreds, nay thousands of individual life forms, each striving to survive. And this dangerous, deadly, elegant fusion of cells cannot be destroyed by conventional weapons. They are impervious to all assault. So, how then are we meant to survive? How can we defeat such a powerful predator? Um, well, they die when we hit them a lot with the God Ark, or shoot them a lot with the God Ark, so... Precisely! A God Ark! A biological weapon infused with the same oracle cells that inhabit an Aragami's body. That's the key! They are the only weapons capable of cutting through their ever-fusing oracle cells. But just cutting them down will do no good. The rogue cell colonies will grow and heal, or worse, form new monsters to be defeated. No, there is only one way to ensure victory. Tearing out the core. The cells that serve as a control center. But of course, such a task is challenging to say the least. Even with our god arcs, we have no way to deliver such a devastating blow. At some point, people recognized in these monsters, in their immortality, the spirits of the many gods once worshipped here. They deem these creatures aragami, and we fight them still. I think that's as good a place as any to hold for today. As homework, please refer to the Norn database for more on the history of aragami. Dismissed! Yeah, I guess I still got some stuff to learn. It does feel pretty great. Ooh, this ought to be fun. No, no, it's good. Just don't expect any miracles, okay? Ooh, this ought to be fun. Now that I'm finally here on the front lines, I want to take in all the advice I can. I'm fighting with the best. My goal is right before me, and I'll keep going. I'll keep running towards that horizon. This is so incredible. <laughs> I'm sure this will help. I can't stop smiling. Just the thought of using this. I know I can finally help out. I can't wait to see what this can do. I don't 
want to sound cocky, but I think I'm en route to pro status. Ha <laughs> ha! I feel good. Confident. That's new. I don't want to sound cocky, but I think I'm en route to pro status.
Ah, you're the new recruit, aren't you? I'm Sakuya, Sakuya Tachibana. Great to meet you. You look a little nervous, you all right? It sounds weird, but you've got to stay relaxed. We don't want you freezing up out there. Oh. All right, let's get to the mission briefing. You've got the lead today. I'll be handling the long-range backup, so wherever you go, I'll follow. This is as basic as strategy gets, but it's the key to success when you're teamed up with a long-range god arc like mine. Oh, and don't go running off. If you get too far, I can't cover you. Stay within my line of sight and my god arc's effective range. All right, we're a team now, you and I. We look out for each other. Let's get out there and take those origami down. are in position and awaiting the go code. Sakuya, are you two prepared? No problems here, Hibari. Let's get in there and win this.
much power. It's overwhelming. I almost want to let it consume me. Just goes to show that even the veterans have quite a bit to learn. Well, well, this is a pleasant surprise. This feeling is incredible. The power is begging to be set free.